Hello, this is Mr. Tabby Cat, and today I'm doing another video, and today I'm, sh I'm showing you all the bosses, and here, and here is the Eye of Cthulhu, and it's Cthulhu's eyeball, and it basically, why it doesn't drop its soul of sight, but the twins doesn't, it's because the... Because the, it gives it to the brain of Cthulhu that makes it have an inner eye, so that in its second form. So next is the King Slime. All the slimes formed together to form the King Slime. The Eater of Worlds, that is believed to be Cthulhu's intestine, intestines. The brain of Cthulhu, that's inner eye, is inside it and when you defeat it the souls of sights don't come out because then the souls of sight go to the ruler of flesh because the ru it's very simple because the ruler of flesh has two eyeballs and usually he just had a mouth and when it goes skeleton no green bee and th this is found in hive by a jungle skeleton that is basically the Gif near Gafulu because he made he created the cultist by yeah, yeah so once you defeat the wall of flesh the ancient spirits of light and dark has been released so all the souls of Sai were kept inside him so the twins, once you defeat the twins, it the souls of sight come out because the twins obviously have have them because there's no more mob that needs them anymore. So that's why it drops them. The destroyer that drops souls of might. So that means it it's like the hard mode version of the Eater of Worlds, if you know what I mean. Skeletron Prime is just a remake of Skeletron, but in hard mode, because the Gafulu made Skeletron Prime because they thought it might be more powerful now you have better stuff. Plantera, that you find in a bowl by the jungle. Gafulu plants some seeds in the jungle to, to kill you, and then once you defeat that, the golem comes, so that's really bad. And the golem is found in the temple, and Plantera drops the temple key because all the plants inside it um, form the temple key. And you and it's all covered in Plantera stuff. And then the golem, that is the worst, is very bad. And, it is, and all the lizards that you find in the Golem Temple formed him with all the stone. Duke Fishron, um, found in an ocean biome, and it's Gafulu's fish, Guardian, but, and he tries to kill you really bad. The cultist, that, um, there's four cultists praying to the Moon Lord, but to fight you, once they're dead, the other cultists, he summons and takes all the Moon Lord's, Lord's powers away and tries to kill you. And then a celestial event happens. You have to defeat all four pillars and then the Moon Lord will summon. The, final, the Moon Lord is the final boss of Terraria of version 1.3.1. And it drops really end game items, and it's known to be Gafulu's brother, but it killed Gafulu to take all his powers away. So, so before he was just a really not powerful boss. And then if you go down here, here's all four of the pillars. The solar pillar is one of the four bosses that during the lunar event start once the lunatic cultist has been defeated. And the nebula pillar that looks exactly the same, but it drops these stuff. And there's oak crab. And 
and and console mo mobile only. So he his then the soul of sight, but the twins drop. He actually has more of it because the soul of light has been sitting there in the crimson for a long time, and it's and it's really bored sitting there. So they created Oakram to defeat to destroy the world and it, and the twins are his two eyes and the, other, and the top one is the eye of confusion and that's it really so hope you enjoyed this video so bye